Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, m and m, m which stands for math, makeup, and more. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the second letter M, which is makeup. So I've been working with this app, it's called Influencer. And basically what you do is you review products that you already have and you post those reviews and hopes that you'll be lucky enough to be chosen for a campaign. And with those campaigns, you get sent free products and you review the products that they send you. And simple as that, and it's all free. So I got my first, they call it a Vox box. And in this Vox box, I think I have three different products and I'm gonna be doing a unveiling, unveiling, revealing, revealing of the products that I got. And I'm gonna be doing a little try in with them as well. So if you wanna see what I got and how they look on and my reviews on them, keep watching. Alright, I've been wanting to open this. I've had it for like two weeks, but I haven't been able to make a video yet, so I've been waiting to open it. So let's see what I got. So you first open it up and you get a little cute card. It's like CoverGirl products and it tells you everything that you've got. And so let's go ahead and see. So the first thing I noticed is okay, there's just two things. It's this Exhibitionist Lip Lid Paint. It says it's highly pigmented, waterproof, crease proof, and fade proof. And it's in the shade 115. Sorry, sweetie. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So okay. Looks very cute. Excited to try that out. And then the next thing is looks like a blush. This blush. Ooh. There's the blush. It's in the shades. I think they're upside down on the side. 320 Love Me. It is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flush High Pigment Blush. Lord knows I love my blush, so I'm super excited for this probably the most. And then, next thing I got is this an eyeshadow palette. I got the CoverGirl True Naked Dream Lad, and it's a little quad eyeshadow palette. Super cute. And then, thoughts. Yep. So, those are the three things I got, and let's go ahead and let's do a look with them. So, I'm gonna start. I do have eyelashes on, but I don't have anything on my eyes. So, let's. Let's do some eyeshadow. Got my brushes, but it's super dark and full of pigment. That's alright. I'm gonna clean the brushes off on my leg real quick. Just to get off. So let's go in with this eyeshadow first. See if I can open it. That will be helpful. Comes with one of these, but Lord knows. If you still use that, girl, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to use all four shades. So I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna start with this guy on my outer corner and my lid. It's a super cute mauvey kind of purple. I'm the one you ride. I've been super into just basic eyeshadow lately. I'm just using like three colors. And so I feel like this eyeshadow would be perfect for my current lifestyle that I'm living. This sister is uninspired. And I also am just tired of having my eyelids stained from all the colorful looks I was doing for a while there. And the two shades, so two of the shades are mattes and what it looks like that. Two shades are mattes and then you have two metallics. That's all you need. Alright, now I'm gonna darken it up, going in with this deeper shade. 
Now it seems fine. Out of corner. Letting it out. And then I pull it in. Yeah. There is a bit of fallout on the pan with them, but nothing that's crazy. You guys, I don't know what started me saying cuckoo -coo crazy, but all of a sudden it's something I just came up with, or I probably did hear it somewhere because I'm not. My personality is not original, it's definitely a compilation of all the TikToks I watch and all my TV shows. But I won't shut up about it. It's, it's getting a little annoying at this point. There's that. And I'm going to take a nice little flat head. And I'm going to go in with this shade first and I'm going to go that on the middle of my lid. And then once I bring it, start going in, I'll take this one in the inner corner. So this shade on its own, kind of boring. It blends in a little too much. I like I wish there was a little more paint out on this color. Um, and I do have kind of a lot of fallout under my eye. Should have baked a little bit beforehand. I mean, it's good. It gives you a little bit of it, but yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, can't really see it. And then I am gonna take. This shade, I am gonna wet it a little bit. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. She doesn't in a corner, but just not the. Ba -ba -boom that I'm used to personally. Okay. Get rid of some of that fallout. Okay. Here's the eyeshadow on its own. And now let's go ahead and let's try the lid paint. Apply to eyelid using finger or brush. Can be worn alone or as a base. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this gives me so not too like this. I'm gonna squeeze it onto my hand. And I'm gonna take that same brush. Very creamy. Oh yeah, that's super pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of cut my crease with it. Ooh, I like that a lot. So sometimes I get really lazy to like physically cut my crease. And so this works super well. If this is the shade you want on your crease, because it kind of just cuts it, you can cut your crease with it. A little bit more. See this with the two matte shades? That is a very pretty look. And it goes on super creamy on your eyes. Oh, I really like this. That's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna take if I say my shadow brush. Oh, kill him! Kill him! Kill it! All right. Now we're gonna try the last product. We're gonna try the blush. This could open it. 
Circle bus, circle bus. See, it has like a little sheen to it, which I really like in a blush. I I don't like a matte blush, personally. My cheeks out and glow. I'm gonna go on with bronzer first because that's how I do my blush. I just did my hair today. I feel so much better. Like, ooh, look at those. That balayage. And then let's go in. <laughs> my cool, cool, crazy blush brush. Okay. Oh my god. So I do have swatch for you. It is a cute little picture. And a little product does. It does have a lot high pigment, so we know we like making me look like a little dog. When I do my blush, I like to bring it all. Literally, it's like all the way across my face. It's cute. As you can tell, I like this blush a lot. However, I feel like with blush, you, if you mess up blush, if there's a bad blush out there, sis, I feel like blush has got to be one of the easiest things to make. Yeah, this blush is super cute. And yeah. There is my look with trying out my new Voxbox products. Overall, I really do enjoy them. This lip shade, I have a hair in my mouth. This little lip paint, I would rate five out of five stars. This is super great. I think I made my I look so cute and I think Pairing it with these two matte shades. These two matte shades I'll give a like five out of five stars. Pairing with these, beautiful. These two shimmer metallics, eh. Drugstore, they're just, I'd give them like literally two stars. They're okay. Nothing that was like blew my mind. And it just felt drugstore to me. I thought drugstore makeup is bad. But this has kind of like a little production quality to me. That's on that. But this, this, very good. And this blush is super cute. Nice little rosy blush. And it does give you a nice little glow to it, which I love in a blush because I don't really like highlighter anymore. And so I like when my blush is giving me a highlighting effect. So yeah, that is my Fox Box unboxing and my little review of all the products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I promise I will start making more videos again. Make sure to subscribe. I'm almost at 100 subscribers and it's almost my birthday too, so be very appreciative at all. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!